All right, people. Well, it's 201. We're going to kind of hop into it. Uh, welcome to our 360 stretch. My name is Luke. I'm the fitness specialist here and the Dragon Boat coach. And this is our exercise science intern, Sadie. Uh, if you'd like to say a little bit about who you are, Sadie, you can. My name is Sadie Packard, and I am the 360 intern right now. I went to ASU. I'm finishing my bachelor's in exercise and wellness through this internship. And I'm right here. I'm from right here in Arizona. If there's any other natives. Perfect. Perfect. So uh, again, we're doing our 360 stretch today. This is Ability360 with Move United, kind of our hashtag adapt at home. Uh, we'll be working with stretching today. So if you were here last Friday, it was kind of a high intensity strength workout. Today is going to be a lot different. We're going to be doing a lot of breathing, a lot of stretching. It'll be lower intensity, but we're still going to get some really, really good moves in there. Um, so first, we're going to start off with just kind of calming down. I know the world's been a little crazy right now, so we're going to take some big, big, deep breaths. We're going to take about five of them. I want you to do a four count. So one, two, three, four in through the nose and then one, two, three, four out through the nose and we'll kind of work from there. So just give me five of those when you're ready. Here we go. So good. Here we go again. Breathe in. Good, all right, now let's focus through that nose now, in through the nose, and out through the nose. Good, one more time, here we go. Good, for last time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it for five seconds, in five seconds, out five seconds, only through that nose, ready? Hi. All right, so now that we've calmed down a little bit, we've taken some breaths in and out through the nose. Now what we're gonna do is focus just on our mouths. So we're gonna take a big deep breath in through our mouth. We're gonna hold that breath for about two seconds. One, two, and then we're gonna breathe out. Kind of an abrupt, a whoosh, whoosh out through the mouth, okay? So we're gonna do a couple of these. So in through that mouth, hold it. Let it go. Breathe back in. And that's kind of the rhythm we're working on right now. So we're going to do about eight more of these. All right. So big deep breath in. Focus on relaxing all your muscles right now. Breathe back in. Got four more. Good, three more. Last two. Good, last one here. All right, now just kind of go back to some nice, quiet, calm breathing. We're gonna do a few more kind of breathing techniques here just to really relax and get into some stretches here. If at any point you would like to close your eyes, feel free to do so. If you don't want to, that's perfectly fine as well. Um, sometimes closing the eyes can just help the mind relax a little bit and just kind of sink into those stretches a little bit more. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 20 breaths 20 breaths and we're going to do kind of a little bit faster where we're breathing in and we're kind of going in out in out at any point if you get lightheaded slow down a little bit that means you're just breathing a little too fast um, if it's too fast for you if you just can't keep up with the cadence do it your own cadence. I'm gonna to count to 20 with the breaths. And then at the very end, we're just gonna breathe out and you're just gonna close your mouth. We're just gonna hold that breath for 20 seconds. All right, so 20 breaths in, and then you're gonna hold your breath for 20 seconds. 
it's important that we don't hold abdominal pressure inside. So we're not going to take a big deep breath in and then kind of puff out our cheeks and hold everything inside. We're just going to relax, let it out. And here we go. So breathe in. And here we go. It's okay if you yawn. I know I probably will. Ten more. Three more, two more, last one. Breathe out, close your mouth, hold your breath, 20 seconds. And now you can breathe. So hopefully you feel a little bit more relaxed. I know I, know I do a little bit. Um, so now that we're kind of in the mode for stretching, we're kind of in the zone a little bit. So we're here to stretch, we're here to relax, okay? We're gonna take that left arm across the body, okay? Now I have Sadie, our exercise science intern here. She's gonna be showing most of her stretching seated. So if you need to stay in a chair at all or anything, or the ground's really not a safe spot for you, that's okay. She's gonna be doing most of her stretches seated. I may go down to the ground a little bit to show an extra stretch or a little bit more advanced stretch or maybe a stretch that can't be hit as well seated, but that's okay, all right? So now we're pulling that left arm across. Now we're gonna look over that left shoulder to kind of turn that neck, all right? If rotation at all is not advised for you or if you've got some hardware or fusions or anything, you don't have to rotate, it's okay. I'm gonna swing that left arm out to the side we're gonna bring that right arm across, big old stretch. Super important that we keep breathing during our stretches. We're gonna look over our right shoulder now. Take a big deep breath. All right, now we're gonna take that left arm up overhead. Big old reach back. Take a big, huge, deep breath. Good, kind of left that left arm back. And now we're gonna to switch to the right arm. Big, deep breath. All right, now my right arm is gonna relax, okay? All right, now what Sadie's gonna do here is she's going to kind of take a bow a little bit and then come right back up. Just gonna take a bow a little bit and back up. If you need to prop your feet up at all, or you need to use your hands, we're gonna be working on our spine and kind of our trunk. So just coming down, coming back, and each time, if you can, go a little bit lower and come back up, all right? So now I'm gonna scoot my chair off to the side. I'm gonna stay standing, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna come down, get a big stretch in the hamstrings here come right back up. So from an angle, it looks like here, and back up, right? And again, you do what you can. We're breathing through this, kind of waking up the spine a little bit, waking up the hips, all right? Now, all right, we're both gonna be seated here, okay? We're gonna go down, and I kind of want you to round your back. So think about each individual vertebrae. We're gonna kind of turtle in, and then we're gonna come up and we're going to try to extend our spine, kind of curl or curve the back of the spine and come back down, all right? So this is kind of like a seated cat and cow. And if you have no idea what I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna to come to the ground here, all right? And I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about, all right? So I'm down on the ground and I'm going to arch my spine, 
kind of like a cat, and then push my hips back, kind of like a cat. All right, so find your variation. Give me about five, and keep breathing through those stretches. Good, two more, keep breathing. Good, all right. Now, we brought some bands with us. You can use a band, you can use a towel, you can use a broomstick, whatever you might need. Um, I've got a red band here, it's kind of like a loop system. Sadie's got a band with two handles on the end. You can use either one, up to you, all right. I'm just going to hook my thumbs in, okay? We're going to get some space here, and we're going to take that band up and back. And if you need time to kind of grab maybe a towel or a broomstick, absolutely take your time. We'll be here for a while, okay? So we're working on just kind of taking that band or taking that towel or your broomstick or even maybe a piece of string. You're just going back behind your head a little bit, and then coming back forward, right? What this is kind of doing is it gives a big old stretch in your chest, mobilizing your shoulders, right? Okay. Give me about three to five of those, all right? And we're gonna kind of move on to our next stretch, all right? So now what I want you to do is we're gonna keep our left arm out to the side and our left arm is not going to move, all right? My right arm is going to be the one moving. My right arm is going to come up and back a little bit and forward. Up and back a little bit and forward. All right, if this is too intense, okay, I can bring my hand kind of down to the edge of the seat and just take it back and work on that mobility and kind of stretching the chest a little bit, all right? So now I'm gonna hit my left side. So my right arm is gonna stay stationary. My left arm is gonna come out to the side. I'm gonna reach back, get a big stretch, come back forward, okay? You wanna make sure I don't drop my right hand too far because then I might hit myself in the head with my band or broom or towel so keeping that arm up nice and high. All right. Good. All right. Now we're going to kind of set our bands and everything off to the side. Okay. Sadie is going to have a pole here. Okay. So she's just got a regular, regular pole, a stick. You can use a wall if you'd like. You can use anything just to kind of prop your hands up against. Um, Whatever you might need, that's okay. So she's gonna put her hands on top of her pole, hand over hand, and then she's gonna lean forward, drop. She's gonna get a big, huge stretch on the back, okay? A little bit more advanced version, is I'm gonna to come to the ground down here, all right? And we're gonna go into something called child pose. So I'm gonna have my hands forward, and I'm gonna sit back, and get a big stretch in my back. We're just gonna go in and out of these stretches, in and out of these stretches, all right? So kind of find your range of motion. We're trying to open up that rib cage, open up that shoulder girdle, mobilize everything. Give me about two more big, big deep breaths. All right, big, huge, deep breaths, okay? Now we're gonna transition a little bit from, um, kind of Sadie's gonna be showing a seated version, and then I'll be showing um, kind of a hip stretch, all right? So if, again, the ground's not a friend, or what you can do is you can prop your foot kind of up on a chair, if you feel safe to do so, you can do that, all right, to do some of these hip stretches that we're gonna work on, all right? So Sadie's gonna be here, she's gonna be seated. Okay? She's gonna throw her left arm over her head, kind of like what we did in the beginning. All right, and now what I want you to work on is Sadie's gonna rotate. So she's gonna have both arms 
up there, she's pulling on that tricep, and now she's gonna rotate left and rotate right. Left and right, left and right. So what this is doing, it's kind of moving your shoulder blades, moving your spine, ribs around and everything, okay? Now we come down to the ground here, and I'll show you the hip stretch. So if you're doing that arm stretch, keep going. Now I'm gonna show the hip stretch. My right leg is up, my left knee is down. You can put a pillow on the ground if you need to. I'm gonna sit my hips back and then push my hips forward, sit my hips back, kind of take a bow, push my hips forward. All right, same thing can be done just standing where I'm here, sit my hips back, pushing my hips forward. All right, and that's just getting a big, huge stretch kind of in the front of that leg, all right? Now, if you're seated, all right, we're gonna switch sides. So now Sadie's gonna grab her other arm, okay? And she's gonna do the same thing, and now you can too. And we're gonna rotate. We're gonna work on the other muscles, okay? And I'm gonna switch legs. So again, I can be on the ground here. I can have my knee on one side. Now it's my left leg up. And I'm gonna take a bow. I'm gonna push those hips forward. Take a bow. Push those hips forward, all right? We may come back to some of these stretches during our time here. We might go into some breathing a little bit later, all right? Good. All right, now, okay, we're gonna be seated here, okay? What I want you to do, if you can, is you're going to Cross your legs if you can. I'll show you on the camera down here. I'm crossing my legs here, and then I'm going to drag my right leg up to the top of my knee. And then I'm going to bring my other leg up. So I'm kind of crossed. All right. And then I can adjust my leg if I need to. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to fall forward, get a big, huge stretch in the hip and come back out. Big, huge stretch in the hip, and come out of that. If you can't get your leg all the way up there, that's okay. You can just cross at the bottom, just crossing down at the bottom, and coming back and forward, you'll still feel a little bit of a stretch in the hip there, okay? Now, if you don't feel any of those stretches, that's perfectly fine, because we got something for the ground here, all right? So on the ground, I can bring my left leg forward and my right leg back down here. And I can do the same thing where I'm coming down to that knee and feeling a big stretch in my hip, okay? So find your variation. We're gonna stay here for a little bit and just go back and forth, back and forth. Find what you can do, okay? Some of you I know who, uh, who attend my stretching class at Ability360 are extremely flexible, and you may not feel a stretch at all. But if you're Coach Luke, you feel a stretch on all three of these. So you guys are doing great. <laughs> all right, we're gonna stay here for a little bit longer. Give me about three to five more pulses up and down. Good. All right, now keep that leg up there or keep in your position. I'm going to have Sadie. She's going to start to rotate. She's going to kind of bow down a little bit to that knee and then rotate a little bit and then rotate to the other side. Perfect. Perfect. So now you're kind of aiming towards your foot and aiming towards your knee. And so you're going to try to put your chest to your knee a little bit, rotate, and then I'm going to aim towards my foot. Rotate. We're taking some big deep breaths here. Good, if you feel a tight or a tender spot at all, that's okay. Kind of feel that out. Maybe hold that stretch a little bit more. Breathe through, breathe through. A lot of the times when I exercise, 
I tend to hold my breath a lot. And so that can be kind of dangerous and that's always not the best. And so you wanna make sure you're breathing through. So now what we're gonna do, in any of those stretches that you kind of just did, if you felt a tight spot at all, or if you felt somewhere that maybe felt good for you, we're gonna go down to that position, all right? So for me, it's right here on top of my knee. That's where I feel it the most. And now we're gonna take 10 breaths, 10 breaths right here, okay? You can close your eyes if you'd like. We're just gonna go nice and calm, all right? And go. Five more. See if you can push a little bit more into that stretch. Three more. Last one. All right, so time to switch to the other side. So I'm gonna come back up and I'm gonna sit in my chair, kind of show you the way I got my leg up again. I can cross that leg over again slide that foot up my leg and then kind of bring that leg up and then boom it's up at the top all right now again if you can't get your leg all the way up there or if it's tight or whatever that's okay just cross at the bottom go as far as you can and that's where your stretch is all right again kind of find your variation that you need to okay i'm coming down to the ground Right, I'm switching sides, okay? This is also called a pigeon stretch. This is also called a 90-90 stretch. This is called a crossover stretch. So there's several names to this stretch, okay? So right now what we're doing, we're just trying to figure out a range of motion. We're just going back and forth, back and forth. No twisting yet. Give me two big deep breaths. So make this last one even deeper. Good, all right. Now we're going back to Sadie here. Okay, so Sadie's gonna come down with either her knee or her foot and she's gonna rotate and then she's gonna come to the other side. She's gonna come down and rotate. So again, we're focusing on now mixing a bit of a rotation into that hip stretch, okay? So now for me on the ground, same thing applies. I'm gonna come down to my knee, come up here, give a little rotate, and then I'm gonna come down to my foot, I'll rotate, and just kind of repeat this motion, all right? Good, again, if you find a tight or tender spot, that's all right. Breathe through that. Almost done. Good, all right. Now, we're gonna find that kind of tight spot through any variation that we just did. And we're gonna hold that for 10 breaths, okay? So come on down, feel that big stretch wherever it is for you. And here we go, give me 10 breaths. Five more. Two more. Last one, make it deep. Good, all right. Okay, so now we're coming back up to our chair again. All right, scoop this band over. So now we're in our chairs, all right? Now we're just gonna focus on the upper body a little bit, specifically the neck. So we're gonna focus on some neck range of motion, all right? So some of these stretches have kind of fun names, so I hopefully you have a little fun with these. Um, but right now we're just gonna go in small little circles, small little circles with the neck. 
Okay. You can pick clockwise or counterclockwise. We'll do each way. Doesn't matter. Okay. And as you feel comfortable, you're going to make those circles a little bigger. Okay. As you get even more comfortable, make them a little bigger. Stay nice and slow. Feel your vertebrae moving around. Good. All right, now bring your head back to neutral slowly. Whenever we're working with the neck, we want to move nice and slow. We don't want to jerk around at all. Okay, so now if you were going counterclockwise, now we're going to go clockwise. So other direction, start slow. Start, start real slow and then kind of a small circle. And again, as you feel more comfortable, make that circle a little bigger if you can. And just focus on moving only the neck. Only the neck. Nice and slow. Good. Give me one more circle. One more time around. All right. Now what we're going to do we're going to have our right ear, or whichever ear you'd like, but I'm going to pick my right ear, and I'm going to go towards my right shoulder, okay? So I'm going to kind of side bend over, and then I'm going to get my right hand, and just with two light little fingers, think two light little fingers, I'm just going to give a little pressure, just a tad. You don't have to yank on your neck, all right? And then when we're doing this stretch, what I want you to do with your left arm is if you can, put your left arm behind your back or just behind your chair maybe, or just kind of off to the side. And then what I want you to try to do is push your left hand down, push your left shoulder down to the ground. So it's a bit of even more intense of a stretch, okay? Again, if you feel tingly or if you feel sharp pain, slowly come out of your stretch, kind of readjust. That just means you went too far. Okay, so don't go as far if you're feeling any tingling or sharp, sharp pain. Okay, so now bring that left arm back into your lap. Release that pressure a little bit with your right light fingers. Bring that neck slowly back up. Welcome back, and we're going to go over to, I'm going to pick my left shoulder now, so you can pick whichever shoulder you'd like, but I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to melt to my left shoulder. I'm going to get two light little fingers from my left side, pull a little bit. My right arm is going to come back behind or just off to the side, and I'm going to Try to shove that right shoulder down. Or sometimes what I like to say is try to put your hand in your pocket and push it down. So that's called a depression of your shoulder. Good. Take a big deep breath. Good. Bring your right arm back into your lap. Release that pressure from your left hand on the side of your head and slowly come back up. To neutral. Good. All right. So the next stretch kind of has a fun name. Um, I did not name it this. This is just what it's always been called to me. But these are called pit snips. Pit snips. And so what we're going to do basically is what I want you to do is you're going to turn your head at a 45 degree angle. All right. You're going to point your nose down towards your armpit. All right. Now, whichever armpit you chose. I chose my right, so with my right arm, I'm going to go back behind my head, and again, just a light little pressure on the back of my head, and I'm just going to give a little pressure to pull that neck down towards my armpit. Okay, 
you should feel a big, huge stretch on the back of the other side. So my left side on the back of it, almost into your spine a little bit, maybe on your shoulder blade. This is a pretty deep stretch. Take a big deep breath. Now release pressure from your fingertips. Bring that arm back down and bring your head back to neutral. All right, now we got the other side. So again, I'm gonna turn 45 degrees. I'm gonna bring that nose down to my left armpit now. My left hand's gonna come to the back. Light little fingertips. Give a slight little pull. Take a big deep breath. Hold that stretch a little bit more. And release pressure with your fingertips. Bring that head back up to neutral. Good. All right, so now we're going to work on some deep neck flexors, okay? So what I want you to do is you're kind of, some, some people may think this is a little unattractive, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pull our neck out, kind of leaning forward. All right, from the side, it kind of looks like this, leaning forward, all right? And then I'm going to go back and act like someone's getting too close to you. Act like someone's up in your business, all right? And you're like, whoa. And so you kind of push your neck back a little bit. Again, this is kind of the unattractive part, but you kind of give yourself some double, triple chins, all right? So from the side, you can see I kind of crane forward, and then I sit back. I crane forward, I sit back. And you should feel this kind of really, really deep into those neck flexors, okay? So here we go. We're going to do about five to eight of them. Make sure you're breathing through. Here we go. So I'm reaching out and I'm coming back in. Reaching out. Back in. That's two. Breathing. Okay, we got three more. Last one. Good, so hopefully you felt a little bit in those deep neck flexors. The reason why we really, really work on the neck is because your head has some really, really important stuff in it, like your brain. And you have a lot of different muscles keeping your head up that go up and down, they crisscross, they go diagonally, they connect to your back, they connect to your sides, they connect to your front, everything like that. So you've got a lot, a lot of big meaty muscles in your neck. Okay, so it's important that those don't get too tight at all or anything because that can cause headaches, that can cause um, some compression in your spine, or even get in the way of when we're trying to do other movements with our arms or stuff like that. So we really, really try to work on the neck too because it helps with posture. And so that's what a lot of times with stretching we work on is posture. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to those cat cows cat cows. So if you remember, those are kind of the rounds. You're trying to like kind of like a turtle. And then you're trying to arch your back. I don't know why they picked a cow, but it's a cow. I understand the cat analogy, but cats and cows. All right. So I'm going to head to the ground again. All right. And I'm going to do my cat cows down here in tabletop position. Okay. And we're going to do about 10 of these. Nice and slow. So really focus on the range of motion, kind of that spine mobility, all right? Again, you can close your eyes if you'd like. Take this time to relax. Good. We're going to do about three more, three more. Good. 
Good, and give me one more, and this time take a big old deep breath as you go. Good, all right. So now, we're gonna work on the hips a little bit, okay? So even if you're seated, okay, the way you sit and the way you position and transition your weight, okay, from hip to hip matters, all right? So if you think about it, your hips kind of have a front, they have a back, they have a side, and then they have the other side, okay? So what I want you to do is try to find those kind of pressure points. So whatever chair you're in, all right, we're gonna kind of go from front to side to back you know, to the other side, almost kind of in a circle position, all right? My chair is squeaking a little bit, so I hope that's okay. <laughs> Okay. It may feel a little weird, feel a little silly, okay, but this matters, all right? Okay, so now come back to neutral, okay? And now, all I want you to do with your hips, okay, is move your hips forward and move your hips back. Move your hips forward and back. So you're kind of finding that front to back position, okay? This has a lot to do with anterior pelvic tilt and posterior pelvic tilt. And you may say, those are really, really big words. Why do I care? Well, this incorporates kind of how you stand, walk, or sit in a chair or with posture overall and how your spine, I'm sorry, how your spine transition the weight of your body to everything, okay? So if I stand up, all right, and you can kind of see my hips in the video, all right, I'm going front to back with my hips and that's distributing the weight differently among my spine, all right? Even when I'm sitting, a lot of times when we sit, we're kind of hunched over and we're watching TV or something like that, our hips are kind of sucked under, and it's important that we strengthen all the muscles around our hips and spine, okay? So now we're gonna go side to side, all right? So try to pick up one hip and pick up the other hip. Pick up one hip and then pick up the other. All right, now if you're having any issues with this, let me help you a little bit, okay? If I stand up, my fiance is really good at this and I can call her out on this. She picks up the hip, okay? You may laugh a little bit, but she picks up the hip when she's disappointed or she's about to tell me something, all right? So she picks up the hip, does that kind of help? So up with the hip, up with the hip. Same thing seated, okay? Same exact same thing seated, okay? And I'm just picking up my hip. And I'm kind of using those core muscles, all right? and distributing that weight differently, okay? Good, all right, now we're gonna try to go in a circle one way, kind of like what we did in the beginning, but we're gonna try to transition that weight a little bit differently, okay? We're gonna try to make it in a kind of a circular pattern, have a little bit more flow to it, if you will. Not that we are gonna do this, or not that I want you to do this, but if you think about it, like uh, people who are belly dancers or something like that, they can move their hips kind of in that motion and they have really good control of all of those different types of motions, all right? Not that we're doing that here, but just if you need the picture, all right? So now we're gonna go the other way. We're gonna go back around, okay? Feel the transition of weight from the hips. Even if it's just your upper body moving around, you're still transitioning weight around from hip to hip. Okay. All right. Now enough with the hips. You've heard enough. Okay. We're going to focus on our forearms and our calves. Okay. So this is again where we, we might transition a little bit where Sadie's going to show a forearm stretch and I'm going to show a calf stretch. Okay. So with the forearms, the first one we're gonna do, Tay's gonna put her hand straight out, all right? And then she's going to pull all five fingers, all five fingers back, okay? Because just if she pulls only four fingers, she's leaving out the thumb, and the thumb actually has a kind of a meatier, bigger muscle in there that we wanna grab too. So she's gonna stretch all five fingers, okay? Big pull, all 
All right. And then for my calf stretch, I can come down here to the ground. All right. Now you can do kind of a push up position where I'm sitting back and I've crossed my legs. All right. Or I can come up and I'm going to hold the wall here. All right. And I can sit back. And if we go back down, you can see on the lower camera, I'm stretching my calf down here. All right. So pick which one you'd like. But now what we're going to do is we're going to hit the other arm. So switch it up. Sadie's going to grab the other arm. She's going to grab all five fingers. Big pull back. Good. And I'm going to switch legs. So I'm going to hit my other calf muscle. Good. All right. Now Sadie's going to go back to the other arm and she's going to point her four, five fingers down to the ground. And she's going to grab all five fingers and pull them back towards her again. So now we're hitting the extenders. The extenders, we're stretching the extenders on the forearm versus stretching the flexors, okay? Now same thing here on my ground here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift a toe, bring it forward a little bit, and then sit back, try to touch that toe if I can, and I'm hitting the calf a little bit differently, right? Just a tad differently. All right, time to switch arms. So Sadie's gonna grab the other arm, pull back with those five fingers. All right, I'm gonna switch my legs here, okay? Our fingers are pointed down to the ground again for that stretch. Fingers are pointed down to the ground and we're pulling back, okay? So now I'm gonna hit my other leg. My left leg is forward. You reach down, touch that toe, come back up. Touch that toe, come right back up, okay? All right, now if we go back to Sadie with the wrist, so our wrists not only go up and down, but they go side to side. So if you want, you can kind of angle it a little bit to the side or point your thumb up. If I can show here. You're going to kind of point the thumb up and then pull that wrist up a little bit. And we're just going to push it up and down, up and down. So we're hitting kind of the sides of our wrists a little bit. You may not feel a huge stretch in this one, that's okay. We're still kind of working those ligaments a little bit. Okay. And then with my ankles, okay, we go down to my feet. I'm going to come here. Most of my weight is going to be in my left leg down here. And I'm just going out to the side and in with my ankle. Out to the side. All right. All right, now we're going to the other arm. So other hand, we're gonna, it's called evert and invert. We're gonna evert it and evert it, okay? So same exact stretch. You can use the other hand to kind of push up and down or just actively stretch it if you like. I'm gonna move to my other ankle down here. I'm gonna come out and then. Good, all right, now you can be seated for the next one if you are standing. All right, so I'm gonna sit down, okay? Satan's gonna stretch her hands out and she's gonna try to open up her hands and pull her hands back. And she's gonna do big, huge wrist circles and try to keep her hands as open and as wide as she can, okay? Now remember which way you're turning your wrists right now because we're gonna to have to do the other way in just a second. So remember which way you're doing, all right? Now I'm gonna go down to my ankles here and I'm seated and I'm gonna do the same thing with my ankles. I'm just gonna rotate my ankles around. You may feel some clicking and popping with your ligaments. As long as there's no pain, that's just your ligaments and tendons moving around, all right? 
Okay, so remember which way you're turning right now. We're going the other direction, okay? So now switch directions with our wrists. And same thing for our ankles down here. All right, so now we've got about three minutes left. We're gonna relax a little bit more. This is the time if you wanna play some calm, peaceful music, you can. Uh, we're just gonna be seated for this last part. We're gonna take some big, big deep breaths, just kinda like what we did in the beginning. This time, however, we're gonna take five breaths in. We're gonna hold for three, and then we're gonna take five seconds out. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, hold for three, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll have my hands here to the side. I'll be doing it with you. Uh, probably this hand here. I'll use this hand here. Uh, we're going to be breathing and here we go. All right, so five second breath in. Hold it, let it out. Good, take a deep breath in. Let it out. Take a big deep breath in. Hold it, let it out. Nice, we got two more. Big deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Last one. Breathe in. Good. All right. So that concludes our stretching for today. That kind of concludes our relaxation time. Uh, we are gonna open it up for some questions if you'd like to ask any questions about stretching. Um, and thank you so much for joining 360 Stretch. I'm Luke, this is Sadie, and we were uh, co-hosting with Move United and Ability360 Sports and Fitness Center for our hashtag Adapted Home series. So thank you. <laughs>